Okay, so that sounds promising because... So we'll skip that one, but the first and the third sound good. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of composing in Full Media Part 22 Minutes and Ideas. In today's episode, we decided to complete the Harmony Energy Story Annotation in the Trio and then look at further composing in the other two scales. And what we just heard was experimenting with what we call the light minor, light major scales with the hop up intervals. And the light scales are part of our overall set that we're working with. Um, the light scales are these, C3, 4, 4, 3R. And uh, we just finished writing a trio using this scale. And then um, we're also looking at what we can do with the shadow scale, which is down here. In terms of annotating the uh, harmony story, we got that done. Uh, in particular, we added this whole line here. For example, this chord here, this interval, is... Um, Uh, it keeps jumping on me, is a tonic. And it was interesting to compare uh, when we started up here on line one with the, mi with the minor variation, we start on that same chord. And so they start out the same. And then they jump over here. It's so this line one, well, it's the intro. Here, the intro goes like this. And this goes. So the F is coming in instead of the D, which is the modes. And then we thought, okay, well, the the cadences, state and state and state and state, and state they'd all be the same. Well, they're not. They're not the same. They start changing right away here. This was a driftance to an ambivalence. And this is a half cadence to a state and And yet, both pieces sound fine. So that was very instructive. We also verified, we had, had a suspicion that that whole idea of what we call the swap, the swap, the minor major mode, minor mode goes to major mode, minor urge goes to major none, minor none goes to major urge, that that could be demonstrated on what we call the negative harmony circle. And here it is. When we switched modes, we went from D to an E, which is a mirror reflection. And then we went from the major urge here got switched the B got switched to the B flat and the A flat and the A got switched. So the the grays show with the two five and the five two, that's the minor of the major, that's the minor of the major. The, so those are switching positions which can be seen up here. And the melody direction is preserved and the harmonies change. The harmonies energy story changes. That was the key learning there. So what we're hoping that will do for us is that we can use this swapping the minor major modes and the urges and the nuns in other scales. And that's why we're starting to look at the other scales. And in particular, the scale we want to look at next is the one we were just playing for you, which is the 3443 three minor major modes. So uh, what we'll do is we'll finish up just for a cheerful note on the last section five of this pretty little recorder violin trio and then we'll, t we'll take us at home. Here we go.
And what's interesting about that, that is so, what do we call it? This part here. So why does that sound so interesting? It's a subdominant. It's drifting. It's hitting the subdominant. It's drifting before it brings us home. Any of it. And we didn't know that, so we added this whole line and say, oh, that's what's going on there. Maybe we can do that in a future composition. Ideas for next time are to look at the trio some more, maybe some tuning, some animation additions. Um, uh, maybe we'll do an energy diagram. We're thinking about that because there's definitely energy switches going on here. And then, as we said, look into the 3443 three minor major um, direct composition and perhaps a minor major swap. So thank you for your time and attention as always. We look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Tune in next time to see where this is going. And as always, keep on streaming.